Ladies and gentlemen, let's get ready to rumble! Hey guys, just a quick tutorial or a demo of iOS 6 on my iPad 3. I have the iPad 3 on the iPad to the right here, or iOS 6 on the iPad 3, and my iPad 2 over here with the iOS 5 running. just want to show you a few of the differences in the native apps. Um, also, just for your information, most of the video apps I have tried, Netflix, Hulu Plus, uh, the ESPN or watch ESPN, they all seem to work great on the new iOS 6. So that is good news. Um, let's start with, go to settings. They've definitely improved settings. They put some spaces between some of the settings. They put Bluetooth right up front now so you don't have to go to general and then Bluetooth. That is great. Um, do not disturb. Looks like that will... Um, stop notifications probably from coming through if you don't want them to. Um, privacy, I think that does the same thing. Um, let's see, general. It's, haven't even looked at this yet. Uh, there you go, 6.0. Dad's iPad. This is my son's on the left, the iPad 2. Okay, let's look, some, look at some of the native apps that are pretty neat. Uh, first of all, in the new iOS 6 cool clock. You didn't have one before. It's a world clock. It's also your alarm clock now, which is kind of neat. I don't have one set. Stopwatch, timer. Um, you tap that. Now I don't know if it's going to stay on, but it looks kind of cool. It puts your temperature. I guess it does because it just it's on. You can swipe through your other cities. Kind of a cool looking clock. Very cool. All right, let's look at Maps. That seems to be uh, a new native app that Apple is doing on its own, which uh, it looks kind of cool on the keynote. Let's see. Maps. Okay, let me find Maps. And Maps. Um, uh, these are both set to just my house. Uh, let's see, this is kind of cool because you can use two fingers and spin it up that way, which uh, you can't do on... I'm trying to spin my fingers. I know you can't see it, but you can't rotate it there, so that's kind of cool. Both maps let you switch to hybrid. Let's see what they look like. Uh, we'll do zoom, zoom. Yeah, they both look good. It's a little unfair that the iPad 3 is the retina display and the iPad 2 is not, so it's making me think that uh, it looks so much better on the iOS 6 which I'm not sure if it does or it doesn't it looks good though I do like that I can do this that's kinda cool there's also a 3D button here tilts everything you can also move it like that yes that's kinda cool and I guess the the big thing is you get turn by turn direction now I did try that from my house going to the supermarket and it worked it told me what streets to turn it and it actually says the street names it doesn't just say turn in 500 feet it actually pronounces the names uh, I think it's gonna be pretty good I haven't figured out how to do that flyby what's that I don't know what that is actually this looks pretty sharp I have to admit and knowing Apple before the uh, beta is through it's probably gonna look fantastic Now, on to Siri. Siri is, uh, they've updated a little. She knows sports a little better now. You can say, what's the score of um, the Red Sox? That's my team. Uh, let's try. Siri, what's the Red Sox score right now? It's 2-1, to one. Red Sox. Thank you, Siri. Can you remind me to do my laundry tonight at 9 p.m.? Here's your reminder for today at 9 p.m. Shall I create it? Yes, please. Okay, I'll remind you. Siri, do you know any good jokes? What 
what did one iPhone say to the other iPhone? I used to know this one. Did you forget the punchline? If you like, I can search the web for it. Did you forget the punk line? No. Well, you see, it is, it's still in beta. Um, what else can it do? Let's see. Can you find me some movies with Robert De Niro? I found several movies starring Robert De Niro. Okay, that worked pretty good. Um, Limitless, great movie. Uh, it's kind of cool now you can write from... Now you can do this on your phone as well. I have not put iOS 6 on my phone. The beta version, I will probably won't do it. Just because if something goes wrong or I can't use something, I don't want to be stuck out with my phone not being able to use it. Uh, you can watch the trailer. It's kind of neat. Um, what else is It was movies and sports. I think that's about it as far as the updating to Siri, but at least you can use it now on your iPad. That is kind of cool. There is one more thing Siri can do. I can't believe I forgot this. And it's great that Apple finally added it to Siri's capabilities. Siri can now open any app that you have on your iPad or your iPhone. So let's try it. Siri, open Facebook. And your app opens up. Let's try it with um, something else. Siri, open iTunes. That is pretty cool. Well, I think you get the picture. Um, yeah, other than that, I think that was everything with Siri. Kind of cool. Reminders. Well, we had that on iOS 5. Let's see if it looks different on iOS 6. Uh, yeah, a little different. I mean, they just changed a little. What else? The App Store looks a lot different kind of cleaner um, more like the iTunes store on, on the uh, iPad but now it's mostly cover flow it looks like up above you have your books business catalog you hit more it just shows you your different uh, categories the swipe um, the swipe too but now let's say we hit cut the rope there you know it came up to this page as you all remember if you hit something here now it comes into more like a smaller box and it's everything uh, can be tapped reviews details all right and that's the app store kind of cool what else FaceTime I did try it it worked great over 3G so that was cool um, YouTube I think looks the same Let's just make sure. Yeah, I don't think there's anything different in YouTube. A little self-promotion. There's the uh, there's an app that I created a couple years ago. I'm just getting around to promoting it. <laughs> Procrastination. But uh, yeah, it looks the same. Don't want to play it. Uh, what else did I see that was different? Oh, when you re-download an app or, or get a new app, you're going to see it says new with that little label like on that Cinetap right here on the right or the Air video. I just haven't used them again since I've re-downloaded them. But that's kind of cool. If you um, download new apps, you'll see what you haven't opened yet. Once you open it once, that little, uh, that little new label goes away. Uh, I did try Logman Ignition. It worked fine. It, it uh, What's kind of neat is all these apps that I've just re-downloaded, like 1Password, all my passwords were still there, which was surprising. Uh, 
my Netflix, Hulu, Facebook, everything. It just logged in automatically. I didn't have to re-put anything in. My Twitter. So that might have been the same way. That might have been always that way. I don't know.